Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. We are back with another Inktober video. And we did, if you guys don't know, I'm doing, you know, five day increments where I am recording every single drawing that I make for Inktober, but I put them together in like days of five, of five days a piece. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyways, I did October one, one <laughs> through fifth. <laughs> I did October 1st through the 5th, and then what I What Priscilla means to say <laughs> is that we're doing it in five-day increments, October 1st through the 5th, and now the 6th through the 10th. I didn't offer you to be in my voiceover, sir. But I, it's part of the benefit of being married to you. Okay. Anyways. Um, so, yes, that. Five-day increments. All right. So, as you can see, I did Steamboat Willie. Mr. Mickey Mouse himself for the day of rodent and then this one was by far my favorite one that I have done the last five days was the word fancy and honestly I could have done a lot of different options for fancy um but I I thought of like okay who wears a fancy costume something like that who gets all fancied up and everything but then I thought of Patrick and Spongebob meeting Sandy and going over to her treehouse for the first time because I'm I'm recently watching um, seasons one through three of Spongebob just because I want to relive my middle school days. I know a lot of people don't like Spongebob, but Steven and I, we love Spongebob. It was our childhood. And we try not to go past season three, but this seemed like the perfect day to do fancy because pinky up Spongebob. So I do have a bit of a fun story time. Um, I have been struggling a little bit with my crossing and hatching and that is mostly towards like the endurance of my actual hand being able to kind of like go in and hold my pen and that's actually a really fun story. My hand, I honestly think I permanently injured my right hand <laughs> about a year and a half ago. I had my bridal shower. This is a month before I was getting married. So yeah, about a year and a half ago, I was getting ready, go to my bridal shower. And I was really mad because um, I had to set up my space for my bridal shower. And I'm like, this is a load of, load of crap, <laughs> a load of crap. Why do I have to go in and set up my space? Isn't that supposed to be other people's job? So I went in there and I mean, I went in there after Sunday church service and I set up our fellowship hall for my bridal shower and I wore the outfit I wanted to wear. And then I realized that, you know, I was moving a lot of furniture and everything and setting it up. So I had terrible, terrible B.O. So I went home and I realized all my makeup had fallen off too because I had sweat it all up. Pause on the story really quick. Quick explanation for this doodle of Ariel with the pumpkin. This is actually a redraw from my first year of Inktober that I ever participated in. You saw it, the original image that was on my phone. It was from 2013. It was my first year of Inktober and I didn't honestly know what to draw for the prompt throw. So I redrew this adorable little image of Ariel with a pumpkin and all dressed up for Halloween under the water. And it was just a tribute to my very first year of Inktober. So I've been doing Inktober technically for seven years, but I didn't really do the full challenge until um, 2014, I did the challenge every day. Anywho, back to my wonderful story. So I was in the bathroom and I was reapplying my makeup and I needed my eyeshadow palette. And my eyeshadow palette is this long Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. And it was stuck within my makeup bag and I couldn't get out and I was just so angry and nobody bought me lunch and you know I'm having a big old bridezilla meltdown at this point and I'd been pretty good up until this point I had had no bridezilla moments until now and here we go so <laughs> I was so angry nobody bought me lunch and I remember even seeing my dad in the bathroom doorway and I'm going oh I see you bought yourself Jimmy John's but not me that's great because I'm starving and I got no crap to eat at my own bridal shower I'm um, yeah freaking out so as this whole meltdown's happening I'm trying to rip my makeup my eyeshadow palette out of my makeup bag and when I do so I heard something pop inside my hand and just pain shot up my arm. 
This resulted in, a year and a half later, I still feel that pain drawing, especially w not sketching as much, or it's a little bit easier when I'm doing digital art. But let me tell you, when I am drawing, especially with my cross hatching, I'm, I've noticed when I'm cross hatching and really focusing on my penmanship and my inking, it hurts a ton. So, people, treat your dominant <laughs> art hands as artists from an artist to all you wonderful artists treat your actual writing drawing hand with pristine care because you could do something as careless as this or even like if you break your arm or your hand you just don't know what you have until it's gone like writing still hurts for me and just certain types like you know markers don't hurt watercolor doesn't hurt but acrylic painting on a canvas and drawing and inking when i'm really focusing not to move my hand and i'm really working on the pressures like that i'm putting on my hand writing or drawing then it hurts so that's a huge lesson <laughs> and a great story time because priscilla had her wonderful bridezilla moment and she probably did a good amount of damage to her hand anyways yeah but yes guys fun story time fun day and i will see you all on what the 15th so i'll see you guys later